Hey chickies! Okay, today we are doing a mini inspired by my friend Manal, aka Nail Decor, of a painting of a sunset she did on the palm of her hand. She is so talented. I'll link her details in the description box. You need to check her out if you haven't already. Polishes for this one are INM Nails Gala Entertainment, then Briella, then also L Sol. I'm also using B Squared Lacquers Viola and also Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue and Sally Hansen's Bluet. I'm also using INM's White Porcelain for the base of the gradient. I'm also going to be using my Pure Color 10 Nail Art Brush and some black acrylic paint. Now I had to reshoot the gradient. I thought I had taped it but it seems that I did not so it may be slightly different from the original photo. I'm starting off with a white base and then adding a coat of INM Nails Out The Door Top Coat. The reason I do that is that sometimes sponges can lift your base colour and leave a patchy result which you don't want. The sponges I'm using I just got from a dollar store like a really cheap store. You can get them on eBay or Amazon or any beauty supply store. They're just the triangular uh, um, makeup sponges. I did however recently purchase some on eBay which are latex free and apparently they're better so I'm going to give them a go and I'll let you know how I like those. So you've got your colours to the way you like them you might have to repeat that process um, of painting on the sponge. You want to do a little bit of cleanup and you also want to add a top coat. I use usually use Sesh Feet to top coat gradients simply because it tends to help to blend the gradient a little bit better so that's why I use Sesh Feet. No other reason. As I'm painting with acrylic paint I will also put coat of a matte top coat over the top of that and just provides a better finish for your um, acrylic paint. You can do this with polish and I've said that a lot of times but I just like to use the acrylic paint. If you make a mess or make a mistake you can clean it up really quickly and start again without starting the whole process again. That's why I like acrylic paint because it's much more time efficient especially if you're prone to making mistakes which of course I'm not. That's a lie. I am. Do it all the time. Now once I have all of the black tips done and the middle nail which is more like the uh, sunset on the water part of the scenery I then need to do the palm trees and I'm trying to stay as close to what Manal did on her hand and doing the palm trees quite similar to her with the uh, stem of the or the, the trunk of the palm tree being quite messy uh, with sort of knobbly bits on it which is kind of you know what palm trees look like I suppose. They're not all sort of straight and very neat looking anyway.
Once you've finished all of your artwork, all of your scenery and your palm trees, you want to add a good quality top coat to protect all of that beautiful work. And really, this is when the design becomes really, it comes to life basically. The top coat just makes everything stand out, especially the black, it's beautiful. That's it. I really hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thanks to Manal for the inspiration. And thanks for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.